So just real quick, all I did, they had a down condenser fan motor. Uh, these two fuses blew, shorted to ground. These sets of fuse, or this fuse block runs these three contacts. Each set of these are a different set of fans on the, on the chiller. So all I did, I pulled the fuses and I checked each contact, the, uh, the load side, the T-terminals T to ground. Uh, the top two checked fine. The bottom uh, set checked, uh, had a short to ground, a direct short to ground. So then we have a reference chart here uh, that's actually really useful. It's, it's, it's helped in the past, but uh, it's, it's a little misguided come to find out on this particular one. Anyway, so when we got up there, we checked what the chart said it was supposed to be. It wasn't. I didn't take the time to go back through the schematic because it's just kind of complicated. So anyway, we did a manual check, found which circuit, which fans weren't running. Uh, this runs two fans. Of the two fans, one of them looked considerably older than the other. I chose that one first. Uh, sure enough, as soon as I took the, uh, the cover plate off, you, you just see the burnt. Uh, and I pulled the power wires, confirmed it short to ground, confirmed ground through the power wires, make sure they were not grounded in the wiring harness, which it wasn't. So the harness was good, the other fan was good, it was just that one fan. They already had a fan on hand because, you know, this is just part of having old equipment. You, you keep stuff around for this exact scenario. Uh, switch it out, it's good to go. We're back online and we are moving on to the next one. Peace out.